Now, next question is check if array is shorted or not. GFG easy question, okay? Uh, the complete tag is not available under it, but it is a recursion. Uh, we can solve this question as a recursion and easy question. That's why I just included it, okay? So, what's your question is? Uh, this is your array. Uh, let me remove this one, okay? This is your array. You need to check is it sorted or not, okay? So, basically, what is your n is here if i give you n value so your n is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because n any number of element so let's check the code once i have write a code here and make it full screen and this is a base case so here i assume my function is already working for n so it will work for n minus 1 also okay now, what operation I need to perform? This is a base case, and why I write n equals to equals to zero and equals to equals to one? I will let you know. Okay, just wait a minute. Here, this is a condition. I I'm asking this like n minus one and n minus two. You ask me actually why why we are doing this? Because in iterative approach, we are traversing our array from zero to one, one to two, three, four, five, like this. Okay, six, and but in from recursion through recursion we are traversing from back side like this because we are playing with the number of element is given this method okay as you can check here so there is a one catch if you see here n equals to 5 right and how many element are here 5 but indexing of element is start from 0 to 4 it will become 0 to 4 so that is the reason i am passing this n minus 1 here okay so what is this n minus 1 here so when you pass n minus 1 it will start from your end and here we are using n equals to 0 and equals to 1 because we are checking the two element at a time like i'm at n minus 1 i'm checking n minus 1 it, like fourth element n minus 2 i'm checking third element n minus 2 n minus 1 why i'm doing i hope you understand it let me show you again because if i do n minus 1 then only i'm reaching to the fourth element this element if i do n minus 1 then only i'm reaching to the 17th element if i do only n then it will be a array index out of bond okay i hope uh, this is making sense and if you don't understand this just make a stack trace which we have learned in uh, previous videos you will get to know why we are doing this the simple uh, there is not complex anything here just the numbering starting from 0 to uh, 0 and here it giving a direct number of element that's why we are doing n minus 1 and it and assuming it's working for n the simple solution right okay I will see you in the next video with some other question.